Test bluff undone must stay that way. I've now found peace at the end of day. If my party has left a void, then fill it with remembered joys. A friendship care, a laugh, a kiss, oh yes, these things I too will miss. Be not burdened with times of sorrow. Look for the sunshine of tomorrow. My life's been full. I've savored much. Good friends, good times, a loved one's touch. Perhaps my time seems all too brief. Don't lengthen your pain with undue grief. Lift up your heart and peace to thee. God won me now. He set me free. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they had made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been said by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> this season of Advent, we are preparing. It is a time of hope, a time of looking forward to celebrate the birth of Emmanuel, the birth of God with us, the Christ who was promised by the prophets of old. But this celebration of Christmas we're gearing up for and preparing for is also at the same time probably the most looked anticipated or looked forward to celebration for families and getting together. And so as we gather together as part of God's family, we also see that the anticipation of celebrating this mystery of Christ's birth and coming together of, as family can be an opportunity also for sadness. For many of you, this will be the first Christmas that you celebrate with family without the loved one you are here to remember and that you continue to grieve. But in this gospel, Mary gives us an example and a cause for hope. By the time Jesus was born, I can't imagine Mary having been brought back to full balance after hearing the message that Gabriel came to bring her, that she was chosen to be the mother of God's son. And now, having given birth to this child, she's approached by even more people, more messengers, the shepherds who themselves were visited by an angel. And the message they brought amazed Mary again. And so what did Mary do as she received all these things? She did what any mom does. She started scrapbooking. She started collecting all these things, not forgetting them, but holding them close in our heart and reflecting upon them. And that would be very essential for her and a great help to her as her son grew and began his ministry. Because these things which she kept in our heart would help her hold on to trust in God would help her stay strong in faith. Because her eyes were going to be privy to see some things that were most unpleasant. 
she would see her son being questioned and doubted and pursued and finally arrested. She would see her son being rejected and beaten and finally executed. But while she went through all of that, she also had that promise alive in her heart, remembering God's message to her. And so when it came time to grieve and mourn her son, whose lifeless body she held when taken down from the cross. Her grief was a beautiful thing. It was not something that would lead her to doubt God's presence and God's power to heal and make all things new. And that's the thing we do today. We come here remembering not just a person, but how we interacted with that person, a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister, a grand grandfather, a mother, a friend, how these people influenced our lives. What did this man or woman teach us? How did they bring joy into our life? What were their successes in life? What were their failings? What were their strong points and what were their shortfalls? What were the things they liked to do that they loved about their life? And most importantly, who were the people they chose to love in their life? Remembering is so important. But for Mary, it took on a different significance. Being of Jewish of the Jewish faith. Memory was a little bit different than simply recollecting. There is a word called anamnesis that actually means making memory. It was a part of the Jewish faith that they just didn't recall, but they made present the things of the past. The Passover meal and the Seder meal are images of bringing God's power to life in their presence. And when thinking about this celebration, coming together, remembering those of the past, I believe that we are all walking examples of making the past present. Because we're not just remembering someone who is no longer in our physical presence. We're acknowledging how these people because we interacted with them, changed us forever. We could not be who we are without having encountered them in big ways or in small ways during the adventure of life's journey. And so we come to thank God during this season of joyful hope among our many tears that we still cry as we still heal. We come before the Lord asking for his help to always trust in his power and seeing the beauty of these people we have lost. Keeping that hole in our life open so we stay strongly connected with them, even in the spirit. And so we turn to the Lord in prayer. Father in heaven, we praise you, Lord, giver of life. We thank you for the generosity you show in giving life to these people whom we have lost, that we've had the opportunity to share this journey with. May they find a home in your presence and the longing of their hearts fulfilled. And as we continue to grieve them and miss them, help us also again find joy as our journey continues. May your blessing be upon us all. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>
know my mom's name is on that tree also up there. So <clears throat> I understand you're hurt, you're lost. Um, so in fact, I wanted to call her and get a recipe from her, you know, because she was a great cook. Uh, not only that, this year my wife has been diagnosed with cancer. So <clears throat> it's been a, a double whammy. So where, where do you go when sometimes life has just hit you hard? Uh, you know, I heard a, a joke uh, around Thanksgiving. I read a, a joke in, on the internet that said there was a turkey that got in a fight and he got the stuffing beat out of him. <laughs> and uh, how many ever felt like the stuffing's just going to beat out of you just because what life was telling you? And, you know, David, King David, he said, you know, he, he had a hard life. I mean, uh, there was a king that was trying to kill him every day, he was trying to find ways to destroy him. And killing. And but he said this, he said, but when my heart is overwhelmed, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to that rock that's higher than I. And, and that rock is Christ. That rock is the Lord Jesus Christ who died and rose uh, from the grave so we could have hope. And the scripture I want to read you this morning is, is a, a portion of scripture that I have found hope in. And that word hope means to expect, to expect. And in 1 Peter 1, 3, it says, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope. We, we have a living hope through Jesus Christ. It, it's not a dead hope. I mean, we can't, sometimes we, we have hope in our government, they'll get uh, a deal fixed before our taxes go up, but that hope is a, a living hope. But we have a, a living hope, a hope that's alive through Jesus Christ. It says here, by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that's imperishable and undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being uh, guarded through faith for our salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. For I'm graciously rejoiced, though now for a season we are in heaviness. Uh, and he goes on to say that the testing of our faith are, are the, the pressures of life sometimes are, are more precious than gold that would be tried by fire. Uh, because God glory will be revealed at the end of all this. Sometimes Gold is, is purified through heat. All the impurities come up and, and gold is made pure through heat. And sometimes our lives are, when we go through the test and the fire, you know, God is purifying us. He's making us stronger. And, uh, and our dependence on him is greater. And so <coughs> I have had to find hope this year. But I found it in the Word of God, where he says that we have a lively hope because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And the Apostle Paul said, without this hope, without the hope of the resurrection, we of all men most miserable. And I know that my mom is alive today in heaven because she had a, a hope in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And she's living there and probably is cooking the best lasagna and uh, and spaghetti sauce in heaven. So I just want to encourage you when you feel overwhelmed, when you feel like the stuffing's been beat on you, reach to the Word of God to find your strength because there's hope in the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Lord, I pray. For everyone in here, God, I identify with their loss because I also uh, have some on tree. And God, we just ask for your strength. We ask for your power of the Holy Spirit, which is the comforter, to be with us every day, every hour, every time when we feel lonely or free, God. Bring in that lively hope in Jesus' name.
We never lose the ones we love, for even though they're gone. Within the hearts of those who are gone, we remember. Newton Aldrich. Armel, um, Amelia Bader. Arthur <coughs> Boslin. Dora Barr. Dennis. Beauchamp Sr. Norma Beauchamp. David Beckerman. Mary Bennett. Elmer Ferg. Juanita Boga. Rosetta Bradbury. Vernon Burkerhoff, Gerald Buat, Lloyd Karen Sr., Daryl Cassu Sr., Christopher Catlett, Stephen Claggett, Marcella June Clifton, Ruby Cole, Susan Davis, Charles Dawson, Joseph DeRouche, Wilma Ditch, Bernard Nick Dunsey, Paul Dunsey, Travers Doza, Elizabeth Engel, Marie Badler, Joseph Fowler Sr., Marie Ferris, Doris Finley, Glennon Fisher. <coughs> Rachel Flea, Edgar Gay, George Jr. Guile Jr., James Bones Gettinger, Leonard Giesler, Mary Chichi Griminger, Betty. Groby, Robert Grubb, Larry Peverly, Rudolph Hebb, Norma Hill, Rosemary Hendricks, Kenneth Joggers, Rosalie Sally Joggers, David Huff 
Jokers. Marceline Jokers. Vernon Bear Jokers. Paul Kemper. Lee Kidd Jr. Kirk Klein. Norma Duck Kreitler. Zach Kreitler. Philomena Wabier. Edwin Langley. Mary Rosley Lake. Ada LeClaire. John Levy Jr. Bonnie Delivers. Brianna Lubers. Jean Lucifer. James Macklin. Jean Mancuso. Linda McDonald. Anthony Melker. Loretta Melker. Helen Meyer. Helen Misplay. Jewel Tutti Moreno. Joe Moss. Clarence Nagger. Kenny Nagger. Julia Newhouse. Clarence Audie. Glenn Audie. Josephine Susie Hart. Suzanne Susie Prince. Mildred Graff, Rachel Reed, Pauline Reed, Lynn Reisenhuber, Donald Ritter, Betty Roth, Gilbert Roth, Raymond Rudolph, Elois Shaw, Rose Schmelzler, Patricia Schweiss, Stephen Schwent, William Penis Schwent, Frank Sherber, Harold Shue. John Sprawl, Gerald Jerry Steiner, Margaret Stevens, Linda Stoll, Harold Thomas. <coughs> Samantha Turner, Austin Dave Sr. Amy Vessel, Edna Weeberry, Paul Weaver, Susan Susie Weiler, Valentine Val Withermeyer, Linda Wilkinson, Charles Wolf. Mary Wolf, James Worley, Larry Sam Worley, Melvin Shardy Yates. <coughs>
Christmas wish to you. If we could wish a wish for you, it would be for peace, but for the whole year through. May you never feel lonely, because there are those who care. That you, you realize you are special, you are unique, you make a difference, not only at Christmas, but all year. We wish for your thoughts to be positive ones, that you never quit, that you never give up, that you continue to learn. We wish for the love and peace of Christmas to yours always. <clears throat> for coming today. We want to extend a special thank you to Father Greg Klump and to Reverend Joel and Kusel for their uplifting words of comfort. And to Lynn and Jack for the magnificent music. Thank you to Channel 798 for filming this service today. If you'd like to view the service or order DVD, please visit the St. Gen, TV.com website to order online or to order DVD. Please send a $10 donation to the best SGCA TV, Peel Box 51, St. Jimmy. And all this information was in the insert in the program. And one last reminder please do not take the ornament off the tree. We will give everyone here something when you leave here. 
This concludes our tree of memories memorial service. We wish you everyone a Christmas filled with warm memories. Once again, thank you for coming.